Hey designers, this is Angie from Raveners Design Academy. Welcome back if you're already subscribed and welcome here if you're new. Wishing you Ramadan Mubarak if you're observing this holy month. Taqabbal Allah minna minkum. This video is part two of my top 10 free plugins that have really upped my productivity while modeling and have made my life seriously way easier. All plugin download links will be available in the description below the video and I'll be giving a brief demo of every plugin or extension as we go along. So to continue where we left off at number six, Solar North. Now this is more of a hack for realism than anything. To view your north, click on the toggle north arrow and your north will appear as an orange line. Now I want sunlight to come into my space directly through the window and since my window is facing north, this is kind of impossible. So to get proper sunlight streaming in through this window, I need my window to face south for midday lighting. So I'll move my north so my window faces south without having to rotate my model by clicking set north tool. Just place the tool on a flat surface, click once, then move your mouse and click again to apply. Now I can have sunlight shining directly into my space without rotating it or going through much hassle. Pure sorcery of play here, guys. Now, number seven, Laubwerk, or Laubwerk, which means foliage in Afrikaans, by the way. This tool is free, but it proved so useful, I ended up paying money to enjoy a wider range of options because it's a worthy investment, to be honest. But that's just me. It basically adds very high detailed trees to your scene that are render ready, plus the trees are added into your model as proxies so your model doesn't get too heavy. I mean, look at this. This is not the only nifty thing about this extension. You can get more than one variation per plant, as well as three growth stages per variation and four seasons for each tree. I mean, think this tree is too thick? Change the leaf density. This in turn will lower a tree's poly count so it's not as heavy to render. Now, let's take a look at another tree type. If I'm not mistaken, this tree is the one that comes with the free virgin. Now, let's automatically replace the selected existing tree because we're too lazy to just delete and place a new one. Do we need the old materials cleaned up for us? Oh yes, we do. If this isn't a 5-star treatment, I don't know what is. For demo purposes, let's change the season for this tree. Since this tree is flowering, a season change will either remove or add in the flowers.
So I'll do an interactive render of this tree as a mature full density tree in spring. When I change the season to winter, look, no flowers. Taking a closer look at the object, this is a dream come true for plant loving modelers and render lovers. Now at number eight, groups the components. The name is self-explanatory and the purpose makes a huge difference in workflow. This dinner set and that chair are objects that I want more than one copy of. If they remain as groups and I want to change something after I copy them around, the editing will take too much precious time. I can just right click a group and make it into a component, right? But this will take too much time if I have to do this to every single object here. So what I'm going to do is select all of them together, go to extensions, click, convert groups to components. Taking a look at the Entity Info window, now I have eight components instead of eight objects. Just as simple. Now I can copy them and create as many sets as I want, knowing that when I change something about one set, changes will be applied to the rest. At number nine, Eneroth's merge layers. I bet you've been in the situation where you imported a lot of objects into a model and then taken a look at your layers window and freaked out at how many layers you have. Well, lucky for me right now, I have only two extra layers that I don't need, but usually I have more. And since I'm the type who likes to use layers to keep a model organized and easy to navigate, I don't like it when there are layers crowding up the list. Now to merge these layers into a default layer, all I have to do is go to extensions and click on Eneroth merge layers. A small dialog will come up that will ask me which layer do I want to merge into what layer. It also asks if I want to be notified when a layer shows up again with the same name when importing a new object. It's pretty handy if I'll be importing more than one object from the same model. Now all my objects exist on one layer that I can easily control. And yes, you can always use the purge option to purge your layers, but that only applies to empty layers. Last but not least, number 10, clean up three. Best tool out there, to be honest, to clean up your model from all those extra materials and other nasty hidden glitches that can cause serious damage to a file. Not to mention, it reduces your file size after it's done, so your PC will thank you. There is more than one function to this tool, and it's all aimed at a thorough cleaning of your file. Of course, this can backfire if you don't know what you're doing, so I suggest sticking to the settings I have here till you get a better handle over things.
And be careful of the erase straight edges option because it wipes out my V-Ray light widgets so it may do the same thing to you. Now to test this out on a more complex model, like this one over here that's available for free download on my Patreon. Before cleaning, this model is 238 megabytes in size, which is quite big. And I've already used SketchUp's native purge tool, so this is considered clean. I'll fire up this extension and start the cleanup process. But before you use this extension, keep in mind that it will take its time. I've had models take up to three hours to get cleaned up, so use this wisely. According to its built-in timer, it will take about 38 minutes to clean, which isn't 100% accurate. One eternity later. This is the report you get once the extension is done, and you can see that there was a lot done here. It also took about 55 minutes to finish, which was about an hour. I have check model validity checked, so the next step is to check my model for any errors and report back. Now, after I've saved my model, you can see here that the new size of the model is 206 megabytes. That's 32 megabytes of junk cleaned from my file. These 32 megabytes could have lagged my V-Ray or made it take longer to render and caused a few other issues behind the scenes, so I'm glad they're gone. Now, keep in mind, this model is available for free download on my Patreon. So make sure you check that out through the link in the description box below. Also make sure you like this video if you found it useful and subscribe to get notified whenever there are new tutorials on the channel. Now thank you for watching and stay safe.